Right now, the XRP Ledger is preparing for the implementation of XLS8. And that's a proposal that introduces something called permission domains. And it's a really big deal for institutional finance. So let's back up for a second. Trades take a couple of days to settle and middlemen rake in billions of dollars in fees every year just to keep things moving forward. We know that crypto has the speed, but the total lack of control in most ecosystems have made it a non-starter for most institutions. Banks have been kind of jammed between an outdated technology and DeFi chaos. But once XLS80 gets implemented, it allows for credential-controlled environments right into the XRP ledger itself. In other words, it lets institutions say that only verified participants can touch certain sections in a market. And it does this without exposing user data or control, and it uses zero-knowledge proofs to prove that they have the right credentials. And so this is one way that we're moving closer to bringing real-world regulated finance onto crypto rails without blowing up the whole concept of decentralization or privacy. And where it gets more interesting is that the DEX is built right on top of this. And so it's not like Uniswap where anyone can jump in, but these permission DEXs only match trades between verified wallets. Same kind of speed and automation, but with certain guardrails. And so technically it reuses the XRP Ledger's existing automated market maker, Andex, but adds a step that checks that both wallets meet the domain's credential rules. If one doesn't, the trade never even starts. So here's the short version. First, we're talking about a system that could finally start to bring the $867 trillion global securities market on chain. Second, it opens the door for atomic swaps between things like stable coins or CBDCs and tokenized real-world assets. And that means instant settlement with no counterparty risk. This could also be the bridge that finally lets institutional money enter DeFi in a way that's fully compliant, but still decentralized. And with that kind of capital, we're talking about trillions of dollars entering the ecosystem. There's already a lot of big institutions that are building for this, and they're really just waiting for the XLS80 amendment to get approved and activated. And so in the end, the real genius behind permission domains isn't that they reinvented anything. It's just that they're here to connect the pieces that institutions actually need without watering down what makes blockchain powerful in the first place.